my name is Ian Fryer, the Engineering Director from RMD Quickform. I'm here today on the exciting Tyne Tunnel 2 project, where RMD Quickform have supplied a great variety of formwork solutions to Bouygues Travaux Public. We've provided a single-sided formwork to line the contiguous pile walls of this structure. The two concrete walls on either side of the project are both formed at the same time and the concrete pressures that result from pouring the concrete between the contiguous pile walls are resisted by this large megashore structure that you can see propping the two walls apart. I'm Fabrice Cao. I work for Bouig and uh, I'm in charge of the soft cotton cover as a head of section. We had to study a system that could be easy to construct and that could be uh, versatile enough not to use uh, extensively the cranes uh, that could travel by itself. There are two travelers, and one for the walls, one for the slabs. Our tunnel has got um, peculiarity. It's a two side, a two lane on one side. On the other side, uh, we've got a partition wall and there's an escape gallery. And the escape gallery is a bit narrow, so we had to fit a formwork just behind and uh, to keep keeping into account that well, we wanted to have a traveler form. And IMD proposed a system that could. Uh, Allow a traveler form with a traveler frame to go between these, these two walls, these, these inside this narrow passage, and uh, keep the, the traveling possibility. Behind me, you can see one of the three sets of Megashore travelers that are being used on this project to cast the 1.2 meter thick soffit to this tunnel. The structure is made of Megashore legs topped by R700 trusses. That enables clear passage for vehicles through the structure when it's being used. On the right hand side you can see some special frames which join the R700s and the Megashore together and these have a unique feature where they enable the width of the soffit to be changed to suit the varying widths of this tunnel. As you can see, the construction of the tunnel is made using these contiguous piles and the tolerance in the position of these piles gives rise to the need for the soffit to be changed in width to support the varying width of soffit. As you can see, the structure at the moment is under construction and within 10 days this should be up and running with concrete being poured on the top. Here we are down in one of the very deepest parts of the tunnel, near to the river on the south side. We're standing on the top of one of the more interesting sets of RMD Quickform uh, equipment, a traveller that uh, has become known affectionately as the Sway Traveller. It's involved with supporting the formwork for the partition wall, which you can see in the progress of being concreted in front of me. You see the concrete is being raised within the formwork in order to uh, surround the reinforcement and bring it up to the top level. On the other side of the partition wall is the escape passage which is used if motorists need to escape the tunnel in a hurry should there be a fire. There isn't a great deal of room on the other side of the wall for formwork to actually be retracted and cleaned. And this traveller is configured in a way where nearly all of the traveller is on this side of the wall. There's very minimal amount of equipment on the opposite side. There's a section, what we call the south box, which is the extreme southern part of the, of the tunnel which has a widening section. The slab vary from 10.5 meters up to 14 meters. Conventional scaffolding method is uh, well works, but uh, well, we were seeking a uh, possibility to go faster. Therefore, we needed to have the, the, the tower system. And when the slab widens, we could add up some more towers in between and, um, so, and solve this matter. This is the area of the tunnel where Alshore Plus tables are being used to cast the roof slab for the south box section. The reason that the Megashore travellers can't be used in this area is because the width changes so markedly. 
And in this area, we've used these outshore plush tables in such a way that they can be moved apart in order to give the increasing width of the tunnel. Once the concrete has been cast and cured, it's time to release the load in these jacks using the unique Alshore Plus load release mechanism. And that's the unit that you can see in front of me here, where you simply release a pin here and drive the dog clutch on here to drop the gap here of 12 millimetres, simply releasing the load in one operation. That's far easier than striking these lugs with a sledgehammer and reduces the fatigue for the operatives. Then they can be simply mounted on these Alshore Plus caster units so that they can be very easily rolled forwards to, to be used in the next location. The guys in sight tell me that they only take an hour and a half to roll the nine tables forward from one port to the next. I'm sure you'll agree that that's very impressive productivity. My name's Keith Lyons. I'm a charge and foreman for Wakes Construction. What the lads are doing at the minute is they're actually moving the middle table of the RMT quick form system. Basically, this is used for the actual uh, capping off of the tunnel, so this is actually the roof slab of the tunnel being formed with this system. It's a, it's a good, efficient system. It's quick to strip and it's quick to pull up. Once it's up, it's in place, get the concrete poured and move straight along. RMD were very responsive to our demands and um, yeah, first of all I thank them all for that and uh, yeah, that's a quite, that was quite a good experience and ready to, to, uh, to help us straight away to address our, our problems. I've worked quite a few times with RMD, I was on the channel tunnel interlink. The technical support is, is really good I and mean, we've had lads on the job with us helping us out. The system's quick and efficient and it's a really good system. RMD had a good a uh, good approach, commercial approach, and uh, technical approach. So they were very able to listen to us. So I'd like to thank them on, uh, for that and the team who was in charge of this project. Uh, I mean, the RMD side, I thank them very warmly for that. So there you have it. This section of the Southern Approach Viaduct is nearly completed. The Outshore Plus tables have been moved forwards, and now you can see the walls that have been constructed using RMD Quick Form super slim and our form formwork to give a very good finish. <laughs>